Iris scanner. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Fingerprint reader works so well. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, so it's, fast. I don't. Could Iris maybe be more secure because you can't cut somebody? I, I, I could it's, imagine it's, them pushing. Are, are they doing both on this? Is, yeah, is, they're yeah. doing yeah. both. Yeah. So they, I think they that you could, you could have some people that wanted to, you know, uh, two forms of ID. Um, to or or either or as well. If oh yeah, and they do. They did announce a number of banks, including Bank of America, are uh, adopting Iris reading as another form of uh, authentication. Evidently, I've heard that, and I haven't actually seen it myself. That if it, in already in Bank of America, I think it's if you have ten million dollars in the bank, uh, I've they, heard you that have you have to give uh, them an Iris scan. They, sure. they actually send you one yeah. um, that yeah. you put on your computer if you want to get into your account. That so makes I think sense. That, that, yeah. that that already exists yeah. for, the, for yeah. the banks for that their it, it, uh, profile clients. It all, it all come down to how well they implemented this. Uh, there's already a lot of security experts who seem to be saying that there are the fingerprint reader is not necessarily vulnerable but it's not invulnerable there was right. a story uh, just was it last week or the week before about how uh, a murder victim uh, uh, had a phone and they the uh, authorities wanted to unlock it and they did manage to through a lot of equipment basically reproduce uh, the victim's thumbprint or fingerprint and correctly unlock that phone. Fortunately, there wasn't a passcode behind it as well. Uh, but just uh, it, to be fair, this required a lot of, this required a special printer, for instance, that could deposit conductive ink and reproduce a, reproduce right. a fingerprint conductively. Uh, they tried a 3D scanner and 3D printer that's also like $300,000, $400,000, $500,000 uh, device. But it's the difference between if someone was really motivated to do this, could they do it? Uh, it's also unknown how well uh, it would work with a uh, with a uh, with simpler stuff or more more clever people who were more motivated yeah. 